Welcome back to November week five. Can you believe it? Week five. I can't believe there are that many workouts. So I was hoping we'd only have four Mondays, but here we are, five Mondays. We're back with our final recorded November workout. If you don't know what November is, make sure that you have signed up. Link in the description below to get all of the workouts that are gonna come to you in the remaining days. It is the world's largest all row together for one month challenge. With that being said, let's go ahead and strap into our machine because today is an interesting one. I'll fill you in here in a second. So go ahead, strap into your machine, grab that handle, sit ready. We're gonna start with our warm up in three, two, one, and go. So we're just starting with a nice light movement here. Objective, just get the body recognizing that it's fitness time. Get the blood flowing bringing oxygen to all the areas that are gonna need it. Now today's workout is modeled after Sam Briggs, a famous CrossFit athlete. This is going to be a try and beat the coach workout. Normally, I'm setting the pace for you and I'm saying, roll along, we'll do it together, we'll finish at the same time. This one, I'm going for it. You gotta chase me. You gonna keep up? We'll see. That's the whole thing. So it's going to involve a little off the rower movement only one, but we are gonna do it twice. So the structure of this workout is going to be 150 air squats, 2,000 meter row, 150 air squats. Talk about a leg burner. Speaking of leg burner, this minute is brought to you by Roan, one of my favorite clothing companies now to work out in. I am literally head to toe in them from my socks up to my hat. But you know what I love? Why I really enjoy Roan? Number one, they're great at showing off my legs. I do love a short short. I got long legs, so I gotta highlight these beauties. Seven inch short is perfect length for me. But what I really love is the ability to take my clothing and wear it out into life. I'm very much a like move into the rest of my life with the same clothing that I can work out in and not look like I'm wearing gym clothing at all times. Well, this shirt, number one, is beautiful for that and it breathes like crazy. So when I'm sitting here on the machine, I am getting so much airflow that I don't get done and feel like I have just a 10 pound drenched cotton t-shirt. And this shirt is perfect for that. This hat doesn't get any better than a great trucker hat that I'm basically just staining white over time. So a big thank you to Roan for sponsoring this warm up minute. Now, back to the workout. 150 air squats, 2000 meter row, 150 air squats. You know what that means? We're gonna have to warm up the legs here. So I'm going to take us through 45 more seconds on the machine here. Again, you should be breathing a little bit. In fact, let's just pick up a little intensity here. You never wanna go into a hard workout cold. In fact, the longer the workout, the longer the warm up. Or I guess I should say the opposite. Shorter the workout, the longer the warm up. If you're gonna hit an explosive workout like this, where you're pushing hard, you're pushing for time, your body needs to be pretty hot and prepared. You do not wanna start cold and try and warm up when the workout's not gonna take that long to begin with. Whether this takes you eight minutes or 25 minutes, that's a pretty short endeavor. So let's go and set that handle down, hop off your machine. Just come on up from a standing position. Look at those thighs. That's for you, right there. Now, from this position, I want you to go ahead and take your hands, put them up, push your hips back, reach your hands down to your toes, and then pull your butt down into the bottom of a squat. Now, I don't expect you to be all the way down here when you're squatting for today's workout, but I do expect your hips to be just below the knees, if you can. Now, of course, if you have range of motion limitations, injuries, things that keep you from doing that, not a big deal. You can do things like modifying and squatting to a box or maybe the seat on the machine, something that might make you more comfortable. The objective is get through the 150 air squats. Now from down here, go ahead and take that right arm, reach up towards the sky. Bring that arm down, left arm back up, reach. Now take your hands, press them together, try and drive those knees out. You wanna make sure your weight placed on the entirety of your foot, not just the heels, not just the balls of the feet. Now go ahead and from this position, keep your chest up, stand. Now let's go ahead and into a lunge. Give me five per leg. That's one. Two. Make sure you're driving through the whole foot. Three. 
four. Five, from the standing position, now just give me 10 air squats. Think about squeezing from the butt and the quads at the same time and push the ground away from you. That's three, five, eight, nine, 10. We're gonna be doing a lot of those today. So shake out your legs. We're gonna do that one more time. Ready? Three, two, one, 10 air squats. Just find a pace and a rhythm. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, now come back to your machine because you're probably gonna wanna actually collect your distance as a, a formal time. Is this going to be a benchmark for you? No, but that's okay. So all I'm gonna do is just put 2,000 meters on my machine so that when I get to it, it's ready to go. I'm gonna put 2,000 meters on the screen. And with that being said, we're basically ready to kick this thing off. When it gets to the squats, your objective, just keep moving. If you can just continue to move at whatever pace you set for the squats, that is perfect. Don't try to blast out the first 50 because you're gonna burn out. We, we want to avoid that at all costs. I'm not super excited for this, but I do enjoy getting off the machine every once in a while. And hopefully you're gonna enjoy the challenge with me. So, because we are starting off the machine. Ooh, okay, all right, all right. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna officially start this on my Apple Watch. Here we go, in three, two, one, let's go. One. Five.
I think 150, but I'm gonna do five extra because I lost count. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, doggy. Oh, I saw a blood flow in there. I can tell you, we, you and me, we're gonna feel this tomorrow. Oh, let's just see if we can get the quads to even press down. I wasn't joking when I said first 500 meters might just be telling your legs, hey, we're, we, uh, <laughs> we're not done yet. One of the best things you can do for yourself right now is a little bit of rate. And just get your body moving backwards quickly. So instead of trying to jam on the force, you're thinking light and quick. The less force and strain you put onto the quads right now, the better because they just had such a large demand. Now listen, you may be here. You're like, what did I get myself into? I just wanted to row. Well, at Dark Horse, we're about building dark horses. I want you to be a dark horse. And frankly, rowing is just very monostructural. I mean, it's the same thing over and over. Adding a little bit of change up, a little bit of unknown. It's very healthy to testing our resilience and our adaptability, which is what truly makes a dark horse at the end of the day. Your ability to just move through it, whatever it may be. Be able to take on something you haven't trained for. Maybe you're still squatting right now. Keep it up. You're doing great. That's 500 down for me. Current pace, 155.9 average. I'm just trying to think light quick. You know, the rowing is actually beautiful right now for the quads. Once you get past the, the lockup, because you can now start to circulate the blood through the rest of the leg. Instead of just asking the quads to do the work, now you can get your hamstrings, your glutes involved a little bit more. And remember, if we get done with this, got another 150 air squats. Grooving. Hang off your handle. Let your body mass move the machine. Coming up on a thousand meters for me. Where are you at? My real time split right now is about a 153. Work on nudging it down to come find me. And there's a thousand right there. So over halfway of this workout, maybe not halfway time wise, but halfway of reps and meters. I'm gonna take a few to breathe now. Maybe join me. Less talking for me.
750 meters. Five hundred meters. Two fifty. Done. 729.5. Catch me, catch me, come on. 729. Here we go.
100. Fifty. Fifteen twenty-seven. Oh yeah. There's nothing left in these legs. But doesn't mean we're done. It means we strap in and we start our cool down while we hang out and give you a chance to catch up. Wherever you are, you just keep moving. Plug away. Don't worry. Don't worry about your position to mine. Don't worry about yours to anybody else. Think about how you can become more efficient. How you can take ownership of that dark horse life you want. When things get hard, that you buckle down and you find a way smartly. This is not just a group for people who want to smash themselves in the face. Dark horse. It's about being intelligent. It's being a technician. It's knowing your body. Stopping if something is causing an injury or knowing that it's just discomfort of the workout rather than pain. And you know that you can go on. I'm gonna be sore as, oh, get out tomorrow. I am, I'm gonna struggle to sit down. I guarantee you. Oh. And it's not gonna feel good, but you know what? It's just one, one step, one test. It's only about today. It doesn't tell me anything about who I am or my worth. What it tells me is simply where my capacity is right now. And I don't judge myself off of it. I simply say, okay, I acknowledge. Got it. Here's where I am. Here's what I can do. And that is worth its weight in gold because so many people don't take themselves there. And everything to them is a judgment of their character. Don't judge your character. Let that show in your interactions with people. Let that show in the way you carry yourself when things get hard. Not what your workouts look like or how many you get in a week. None of that matters. It's just a small stepping stone. Find progress. If you only made it, you finish the two can, you're like, you know what? It's just not gonna happen. And I'm being realistic and smart with myself. Well, then you know what that tells you? It gives you a point to come back to this. Maybe in two months ago, you know what? Two months from now, I'm gonna redo this and I'm gonna see how much progress I can make in that time. Because now you have just a knowledge base. You have a benchmark for yourself. That isn't about you as a person. That's just about you gaining more metrics, more pieces of data about how you perform. So we're gonna take our last few strokes here. Hey, don't forget, number one, big thank you to Roan, our sponsor for today's video. Number two, make sure that you have signed up for a November. Links in the description below. and. Did you hit that subscribe button and the bell next to it? Because I want to see you in the next one. This may be the last November workout for 2021, but you know what? There's going to be another, and we're still putting out workouts every week, so I want to see you in the next one. Later.